hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is so exciting because i'm showing you my new car now i just wanted to explain a few things before i go show you it so here it goes um i got in a car crash on valentine's day this year and i it wasn't my fault but it totaled my car a kia van totaled my car so i've been without a car for a few months and it's been fine my boyfriend has been taking me to work but it's just so much having to depend on someone to take you to work and all that and it's been so super stressful this is my first ever car loan i have never had any loans <clears throat> i was lucky enough to not have to pull any loans out for school um thanks to my scholarship so that's really nice um so my credit score is really good but because I haven't had any loans it was not like good enough to take out a huge car loan so i've been struggling with like trying to find a co-signer and all that um my family is kind of crazy about that they don't really trust people so that's why I w it was hard for me to get a co-signer finally after searching for a while and basically given up my grandma was so she is so amazing she's helped me through so much and my siblings and she decided to not co-sign but like put some money down so that i can have a car loan that i can afford so we were able to find a car in my price range so we found one and it is a 2019 jeep compass for years i've been wanting a jeep and <laughs> it's even better that my boyfriend has a jeep um, so it just makes it even even a better solution that why not my first car be a Jeep and I'm just so happy and thankful that I actually have one of my own now like everything is in my name my own car insurance the car is in my name I will be making all the payments because I do have a job um, on top of that I just got my second job so now I have a full-time job and a part-time job I will probably I think that I'm going to quit my part-time job that I've had for the last year and a half just because there's not enough hours that I don't make enough I don't work enough hours that I could afford to live on it's been it's been a huge struggle so um, now that I have this full-time job, I'm going to try to balance them both out for a while to see how I do. And if I need to qu quit one of them, I'm going to have to quit the part-time job. But as of right now, I'm able to balance both of them, which is really good. Um, so now I am officially a Jeep owner and I'm so excited. I've been wanting one since like 2018 and I just fulfilled one of my biggest goals in life. I just took it out to give it a car wash. I still need to wipe it down on the inside. So if it's a little there's some like hair dog hair i'm sorry <laughs> so let's go do a car tour it is really windy out so i just hope it doesn't ruin the video but yeah okay so here are the keys one thing i do want to say is that it is not a remote start so during fall i'm gonna have to get the remote start installed because i need it so bad but yeah these are my keys just have the jeep key my hand sanitizer holder that I need to get a new one. My house keys and then also my Marvel keychain that I got at Universal after the Spider-Man ride, I believe. And then my Lululemon keychain or key ring. And I really love it. So I can lock it from obviously this button or my remote. So this is her. It is a 2019 Jeep Compass and it's really beautiful. I think it's in dark gray or some kind of gray, but it's a very sparkly. Oh, she looks so beautiful. I've had her for about a week now, seven, well, eight days now, and I love it so much. Let's see if you can really see the glitter. And I love that this gas thing it's like look at that so high tech <laughs> um so yeah let's start from the back so this is the back love it i am going to get a new license plate cover but i have no clue what i want to get yet i'm thinking cheetah print 
or something green. I don't know. But it also has a backup camera, so that's really cool. Um, it's a Jeep Compass Latitude, so it is not automatic, so you got to use your hand. And right now I have this sheet in here because we did have to transport our dogs when I first got the car because I had to drive. So I had to bring my dogs with me because I had to drive three hours home to pick this car up. And obviously I can't leave my dogs home overnight because that's just, that's not what we do. So I had to get a sheet and this has just been in here ever since. I do need to finish vacuuming the hair off and they got a little few scratches so I do need to get that fixed but that's an easy touch up. Everything's pretty cool. So here she is. I usually just put my key fob down here. This is her. I love it so much. So yeah, it came with it came with 20,886 miles, but I've already driven 1,000 miles because of how much I drive. Um, so this is what it looks like. So this is my side door. I have my hand sanitizer that I got from Walgreens, and I like it a lot. I just have some napkins. I have my Aquaphor chapstick because I always need that. More napkins. I usually put my sunglasses in here, but I took them inside today. I have two masks hanging. This is really neat. The um, light switches, all that, really cool. Everything is like super high tech compared to my 2009 car, so I'm really happy. And then I also have my Post Malone car freshener. It smells so good. And I have Sirius XM. I've always had Sirius XM. That's one thing I love about my Malibu. It was new enough to have Sirius XM, so I do have it. And ha everything is just touchscreen, and I love it so much. The best station ever. Um, these are all the buttons. It is four-wheel drive. That is one thing I needed because of where I live. And then I have my little, my scrunchie. And then I just ordered new coasters, so they will be arriving soon, but I have some my thing for water. And here, I also have my blanket in here. I use this for when I go to the movies with my friends. So this stays in my car for that and also any other reason that I need a blanket. And then I have my body spray. And then I just have some random things on here. I did order WeatherTech floor mats. So they have not arrived yet. They'll be arriving sometime next week in the first week of June. So this, the clear paper is staying on until they come in the mail. So that's just what it is. I have my popcorn bucket just in case I need to go whenever I go to Wesco. My hat. So there's that. Now to the back seat. I usually have the seats down for my dogs, but I wanted to keep them up for today. This is it. It has two imports for your phone chargers. So that's really cool, it has a plug and just the cord. It has a vent, which is awesome. And yeah, that's this is the back seat. So. They're probably gonna stay clean for like ever because I don't usually have anyone to take it in the back seat. And then I just have my work bag with all of my stuff for work. So that's gonna stay back there, so. That's the back seat. And there she is. So beautiful. Right. Oh my gosh, my hair is a hot mess. It's literally 80 degrees today. I chose the wrong day to do that. All right guys, I'm back inside now. It is 80 degrees out today and it's going to be just a really hot day. So, so I'm gonna end the video here. I'm so thankful that I'm able to do this. I never thought that I would be able to have a car. It just doesn't feel real. Just like with everything I've been through, like with all the trauma and stuff, I just feel like I don't deserve a car. I don't deserve stuff like this. It's a learning process for me. I'm learning that I can get what I want when I work hard for it. And I'm just super thankful that I am working so hard to be able to afford something like this. This is a luxury car <laughs> considering the car that I 
came from a 2009 Chevy Malibu and I intend on taking care of this like it's my baby I know I'm just like being really dramatic but this is like a huge step in my life <laughs> and just like so late in my life I'm starting to do big things like this so I just feel really thankful and it's just a really great feeling knowing that I have my own car now and that I can go do whatever I want when I want. Gas prices are way too high right now. Actually, like today, the gas station down the road from us is $4.44, which is cheaper than it has been in the last few weeks. So there's that. But I would be happy if gas just went back down to $2.00 three not even three like 260 that would be great but you all know that will never happen ever again but i'm just really happy and i just i don't know what else to say <laughs> thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video